Hey, it's James Shaw from Electrical. On today's video, it's double trouble. We've got both of the vans here and we're doing a rewire. Let's get into this. So yeah, we're just on to the job now then. So hands on with this uh, fuse bar changeover. So he's got all his cables up, he's got a nice bit of trunking system. That fuse bar is just grommet and strip now, so we use car door strip just to make it nice and nice. So it won't come off, but it, it'll get that positioned over here. All your cables will come up, these trunking turn into there. And he's got a little gland then to bring his tails, so it'll come out of there and into the side then. It's just gonna look pretty sweet. So yeah, it's his first day on site for me then, so let's see how he's done. Oh, it's looking lovely and tidy then. Yeah, look at that chest. That beautiful lens in that six inch sun, doesn't it? Look at that. Things in the wall nicely. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's a proud boss right there. So a rail knocking about somewhere. But yeah, this is a little rewire then. It's nice to get it all on. It's all got battened off and plasterboarded and that. So it's just a socket down here to do we mentioned, something in the living room. But it's upstairs knocking away. But yeah, it's a nice little job. Got his pendants in, he's got more stuff second fix. Customers bought their own heaters, and we've just had to put the switch through spurs where they want them. So, I think what I've got to do today is get power in for this what will be the kitchen. They're going to knock through all this, and it'll be just one big kitchen. It's a bathroom at the moment. Anyway, you'll flick that, that wall will get knocked down. There'll be like a little nib here, and then the kitchen will wrap around. So, we're going to get six mil cable to here from underneath, you'll see that later. And then we've got to get a temporary ring in, just so they've got power for the fridge in there, so temporary one in there, uh, temporary one for down there, and we might have one sticking out here so they can plug in the kettle temporary. Once you kill everything on a rewire, the old stuff doesn't exist anymore, so anything you want saving, you've got to refeed. Let's see how Alice is doing though. Where's Alice going? Is it to the right or to the left? Is it in here? Is it in here? How's it going Alice? Not very well. Not very well. Get it off. Just want to get it off. So if it's all coming out and it's not coming, just, just smash that little, like the bottom bit. This is the magic Ellis, if it's stuck, a little tap here. Don't tap it! Whack it! Ta -da. There we go. Hallelujah, you got access to those terminals now. Yeah, I'm just in the pits there underneath the house. So then, uh, we're just running this cable. Uh, but yeah, what, what, what Ian's done is run these, they're the old cables, but we've got some old round band. So you get these every 300. And then once you've got all the cables in, you literally pinch it up, pinch it down, and there we go, it keeps it nice and tight. Look at that. So a little tip for you there then, all round band then. If you've got loads of cables, just use all round band, cliff it every 300 or 400, and then you just, you literally just bend it over, push it up, bend it over, push it up. It keeps it really nice and neat. Alright, that's the uh, six mils running then. So I've just got all this old, uh, this old aerial cable. I think the customer wants to keep that. So we'll, uh, Keep that in. Let's have a look then. So yeah, I'm just running this in. So the, like I said, the kitchen's getting sorted out another time. Uh, so we're just gonna get stuff prepared for that when it comes. So I'm gonna just take this little bundle up there. It's just hanging down here, and then we'll bring it to wherever the kitchen actually, uh, or the oven actually goes. All right, temp socket in coming then. I managed to get that through there, coming out the floorboards from underneath. Just that wired up next. And there we go, little temporary socket. That's a shove down there then. So that's all I wanted for that. So we're gonna extend when that all that's knocked in to the kitchen ring. Right, this is the this is the pinnacle of this video. It's putting this when it's really high and over conservatory. So this has gotta go all the way up there. If you can see that little hole there. <laughs> so we've got a little trick to do with that. I think you'll like it. Now we're gonna get a bit of one mil, we're gonna send it out the hole, tie on, and then pull up. So it's gonna be a bit. Let's see if it'll uh we will about to grab it, so hopefully the one mill doesn't bend and then everything comes crashing down before I can grab it. Before we do that then, we'll check on Hayden. Look at this, little sexy shoes man, looking good. Doing boss proud. Look at that. So he's got that, that trunk in the dog, that looks neat and sweet, and then he's got this one to do. So I look forward to seeing how that looks. And obviously the, uh, the what do you call it, the cutout fair has been and pulled the, pulled the cutout for us. Holy moly, and there's outside, right, so obviously it's called that out, that's where the fan is. 
and all the plaster's a bit loose around here, but anyway, we've got to get that fan in. So what we're gonna do, we've glued the grill on the outside of the duct in. But before that, we've got the duct in and made sure it just sat just behind the lip of the front. And then we sat it so it's just behind the lip here. So there's about five mil play we've got with, and then we glued it on. So then what we're gonna do is sensor one mil down, tie on, and then pull it back up and hopefully it don't come off. Oh, this is the mission then. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, if it'll work, if it won't, comment below. Oh, so, probably need about, about 10 metres. It's quite a big drop. And I'll have to somehow swing it so we can even grab it. That'll do, I'll send him through. Here we go, ducting glued. And there, uh, that's going to through it. Right, send him down the hole. Through the grill. Through the grill. Back through the grill. And what I'll do is just tie him on like that. So twisty, twisty, twist. Get him taped off and then that should pull up. Lovely. All right, here's the mish then. Get him, get him squared up nicely, and then we'll go and drown him, and that'll just hold nicely. There we go. <laughs> that's the real trick then. And then obviously that's gone through the grill, so we just chuck that and pull it through. But we've got to seal around it first, obviously. So we'll seal around it. We get expanded form would be good, but we ain't got any, so we have to just silk in the crap out of it, and that should sit in there nice and snug and never come out. That'll do. So that's all gone just in. I've just trapped the cable because it'll mess in with the, the feng shui. So when that dries, that's nice and straight, and the grill's on, and that grill's nice and straight as well, so there we go. The nice job here, and then, so he's got all them nicely neaten in. So what we're going to do next, Ed, well he's got to get them tails in. Got to put a, get a light above here so they can see, down to a switch, and make the power off there. Obviously, obviously get the tails into here, and we've got to get some bondings off here, so 16mm uh, bondings I think. In fact, it's an 8 amp cup cut out, so 10mm bonding. 16mm tails, 10mm bonding to down there, which is in. And then a 10mm bonding to the gas, and then that'll be this job done. Yeah, a bit of testing now then. So all we're doing is just testing that the sockets go from the fuse board all the way around and back, so it's a ring. So it should have reading for line, earth and neutral, with everything disconnected. So that's what we're doing now. I'm just going to do a crossover test and get an hour and a half too. Make sure all the earth rings are where they should be. Make sure the incoming earth's fine, RCD tests, stuff like that. Make sure the RCDs are working so you don't get electrocuted. And then that's that's everything. I'll get it leveled up when we're done. Well done, lads, then. Top job. So, Ed got all the chasers in, he's got all the socket switches working, all the heaters are working, so they're really happy they've got heating now. So the job's a good one really. Ed's done a really good job on that fuse board and all the penny washers went pew, 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 in that chair, so really like that. So he's made us proud really, all the work and hard work he's done. And so then, if you've enjoyed this kind of video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when next upload. As always, I've got it from me and Ellis, and we'll see you on the next one.